Hello everybody, um, back again here for our vlog a day, and today is Friday the 6th, I believe it is. I know it's Friday. I get so screwed up on the numbers. But anyway, um, back here again to kind of give you a little update of what's going on. It was just stupid hot. We just had this immense heat going through. I was out in the um, shop probably way longer than I should have been, kind of really feeling the kick in the teeth right now. I went ahead and my neighbor um, has some tree she planted a few years ago in remembrance of her son passing from cancer and then also it was after her son passed but I think she's got one out there to remember her um, husband who also passed away from cancer and they were looking a little bit shabby and I hate seeing when trees they've been there for a handful of years now are starting to look pretty shabby you know it's pretty bad out here and she's also got when well, you see those two giant trees right there and I went ahead and um, put a garden hose out there with a sprinkler and kind of watered the front yard a little bit. The great big trees, we ain't got much to worry about. They're not going to have a problem. But those smaller trees over there, there's three of them. Um, they're, they, I mean, we could lose them. So I went ahead and had a sprinkler on them. I moved it a couple different spots, make sure I really got good coverage way down into their roots and that. And other than that, pretty much um, kind of moved around the front yard a little bit. I had to water, of course, all my flowers again, my yard. I sprinkled water, did a little bit, not too much. Um, I'm kind of just giving up on it. It's, I'm going to waste so much water if I don't. So the other thing I got done out in the shop today, I went ahead and got the, ta or the um, table and the um, second chair built for a um, friend of mine. She was wanting another table to go between or next to her chair. She also wanted another chair to go with it. She also is asking for a footstool, and pretty much I've got to get that built still. So haven't um, really even decided how I'm going to do it. She talks like she wants it flat. She wants it sloped so her legs can learn to rest down it. But she wants it flat so she can, I guess, have her legs out straight. So I'm kind of kicking the idea around, looking at possibly building a, um, I don't know, like a foldable leg maybe. I don't know, adjustable leg. I haven't decided how I'm going to do it yet. It's it's not big enough to really put a lot of work into. Um, it's just something I've kind of been kicking over my head. I haven't even put a pen to paper yet to it. I really need to and look at what I can do with it. So um, the other thing I did, figure out a way to um, leave my garage door. I got it propped open about I'll, well three and a half inches I guess it's sitting on top of a two by four and still able to keep it locked so I've got it locked tighter and crap right there but it's open three and a half inches on the bottom and then it's also got the gap where the top of the door has folded back like when it's upright and then as you start to roll it back it kind of plops in so I've got double ventilation going on there and I've got one window the only window in there opens I'm leaving it open all the time hoping to get some draft through I'm gonna have to definitely um, knock out those other two windows and actually get windows that open and shut because it that thing is just like a damn oven in there. I had the fan on today, and it's just, I felt like I had a hair dryer blow on my face. It's so horrible in that place, so. Anyway, uh, the other thing I did is I went ahead and got this. I'm not sure if we're gonna be able to see it very good here or not. Got this one finished, um, put some uh, polyurethane on there, got the bottom going. The one thing, actually, I might have to get out here and get a little more sunlight on it. And it has, if we can see it here, maybe, I got too much light, there we go. Has a nice big crack in the wood. Um, that right there, unfortunately, it was not something I was expecting to happen. I couldn't see it inside the giant piece. It was a humongous piece of wood I turned down, and it showed up. It was an internal crack that was not visible from the outside. So I, it does actually go all the way through the middle, which you guys are never going to see. I might try and get a couple of pictures of it. Um, I've put quite a bit of polyurethane that, down in there, and I might try and put some other, like a two-part epoxy in it. Not a big deal. The one thing I don't like about it is, in the inside here, you can kind of, well, maybe you can see, but it's not very deep. Um, it's, I'm going to guess less than, I'm going to guess five, five and a half inches, maybe something like that. I need to probably measure it and see how deep it is. But my tools are so short that I can't get them up in there any farther off the tool rest and stuff. I got a tool rest poked up in there as best I can. And it just isn't allowing me to finish carving down any farther. So I went ahead and tried to carve out the bottom a little bit so I could get that base in there as thin as I could. So it's less likely to finish cracking out on me. Uh, I could have done the um, foot a little bit shallower but I started getting into that crack quite a bit, and I was afraid I was going to lose the piece. So um, I've lost another piece here real recently, so I'm extra cautious on it. Um, I guess what happens. But the other thing i got to figure out, I've got a um, nice wide bowl chuck that I have, and you guys definitely will not see it, but there's on the, it basically will hold the, the um, piece this way, would be like what you're seeing is what would mount to it, so that way I can turn the foot, which is great, except the fact that... Um, little rubber feet that are on it, the little tabs, are not soft enough rubber, and they're actually denning the wood on me. So, other than that, um, the day went pretty well, just stupid hot, absolutely just ridiculously hot out here. So, glad to get the um, chairs finished up and all that kind of stuff. I got them delivered, um, all that got done, so that's a good thing. So, 
Anyway, um, that's all I know for now. Have yourself a safe and wonderful day. Feel free to rate, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching.